So, the final quest beginning will lie with Nero. Let's take his challenge entitled, Test World of Ruin. Nero seems unusually anxious to move things along. Hey there, Alpha. This is it, the final battle to conquer the, <coughs> the Sigma Scape. Yeah, look at um, his face. It's not looking all that good there. Yeah, it's like he's gotten a really bad five o'clock shadow. We put together a profile of your next opponent. You've encountered some fantastical foes in here, but this time you'll have the novel experience of fighting an actual person. His name is Kefka, and he's a jester. That's right. The character that is probably regarded as the most famous final boss in Final Fantasy history will duel us in this round of Omega. According to the data, his preferred mode of fooling didn't just bring the house down, but the whole world. Apparently he found comedy in the tragedies of others and condemned countless thousands to death for his own amusement. Hmm, that a jester should bring such misery, tis almost amusing. Nevertheless, you must treat this villain with all seriousness. His rise to godhood and subsequent rule over a shattered world is clearly documented in the records. Kefka is a formidable mage and a cunning one. Besides, your tactics must account for both his power and his trickery. You've been working on a solution, yes? Would it be enough? Will it be enough? Have you ever known me to do anything my halves? The Jester's face paint is a mask for his intent. If you only watch the surface, you'll be fighting at a disadvantage. To put it bluntly, Kefka will seek to deceive you. Even as you predict his actions and adjust your positions, his true attack will reveal the feint for what it was. This is where things become interesting. I have tuned this monitor to allow me to observe the Sigma Scape with greater enhanced clarity. If I observe a discrepancy between Kefka's behavior and the impending attack, I will endeavor to warn you. The timing will be critical, of course. How, how confident are you of this strategy? Indeed. Well, it is Nero. I predict a 50% chance of success. Any delay, however slight, in reacting to his feints will render my warnings all but pointless. <coughs> Isn't it exciting? There's no safe way to practice this hero. We must test our tactics on the field of battle. Yeah, as we look at him. Yeah, we're all set to go. I'm afraid he's right. I'll lend you all the support I can from this side. Make what preparations you need and head into the Sigma Scape. We can't let this Jester have the last laugh. And Alpha's all ready to go as well. Embrace your destruction. It is the fate of all things. Where'd that come from, Nero? But people can always rebuild and new lives will always be born. A fragment in conversation that accompanied Kafka's data. He was the first line, or his was the first line, but there was no mention of who uttered the reply. What do you say? You admire this villain, or in life there's always hope, or say nothing? Well, considering it is Nero, you admire this villain, don't you? Perhaps, I admire the idea of upsetting the status quo. Go on, champion, I tire of waiting for the fun to begin. Do you now? Yeah, let's get down to business. Yeah, of course Alpha notices that something ain't right with Mr. Nero. But we won't know, they won't know the full extent of it until we speak with Alpha and complete their last challenge. And so now, it is available to us, and we're about to have ourselves a date with the infamous Kafka. 
The moment is here. Sigma Scape version 4.0 and the last of the Omega Battles, and there is Kefka. I wield the greatest power in existence. You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots, or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. I will destroy everything. I will create a monument to non-existence. And he even has the classic Final Fantasy VI laugh as well. It's us against him. Yeah, he's ready to shoot us dead. Winks. I was not expecting to get a wink, but in any event. Yeah, we're not even waiting for the 10 second car, we're just throwing ourselves right into him. So here it is, our final battle against Kepka. Oop, gotta get out of the way of this one. Yeah, he will be using things like this to trick you into thinking there are times when you should actually be within the AoE circle, and other times when you shouldn't, because there are instances where that does happen. And you need to be careful, if it's of course your first time or you're still unfamiliar with the fight, it's probably a good idea to use everyone else's movements as a guide. Like in this instance, no one's moving. We're going to absorb the move. And we're gonna step on the carpet. And so now it's not taking long for Kepka to change the environment. And for the music to change as well. Because now we actually have the final boss music from Final Fantasy VI playing. You probably cannot hear it though because there is so much going on that the music just gets drowned out. Thankfully able to survive that, and you can't fall off here. That is something that can happen. That is something we have to be careful about. Uh, try and do our best to prevent that from happening. Alright, we have a group stack. Now we have to deal with the timely teleport, where when he teleports, the moment he shows up, he is going to do that. Yeah, now we have to avoid this next move, where he's going to shove us back. That caught me off guard the first time, and I died from that when I was practicing with Mathiah. Yeah, the giant statue over there in the distance, that's gaining a lot of power. So in this instance, we're trying to avoid um, stepping on to the carpet. Got knocked back there. Here's a little love from me to you guys. And a little more pain for Kefka. Yeah. Did you think we won? No, we just begun! So we want to come over here. Yeah, because sometimes he'll do that. Yeah, he has a whole bunch of tricks up his sleeve. He leaves nothing to chance in this fight. Take this. Okay, thankfully it was on the correct side again, and I want to take this away, but I also want to be on the carpet? 
Nope. Not that time. I need to run over here so that I don't get blasted by... Oh, no, nope, he's not doing that. Okay, and my run with Messiah, he did not use Arrow, Arrow Assault, the knockback ability, two times in a row. More often than not, he shot a laser. Alright, so yeah, this time we know to stay on this side of things. And we've already got Kafka past half health. Like this. Yeah, take this, Kafka. I really must insist you die! Why are you looking at me? You shouldn't be looking! Now this, me this mech I was not sure on how to deal with before. And I still don't. Yeah, like, cause I wasn't looking at him. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to contend with that particular mech. As of yet. Yeah, he's doing everything he can to try and take us out. Not like Franz Ferdinand, mind you, but still. Right, staying on the carpet. Right, he's gonna go over this way. Oh, and he's not gonna do the knockback again. Yeah. Fast contrast from my trial run with Messiah. Where whenever he teleported, it seemed like the only thing he wanted to do was shoot a laser. This time with Corinne, all he wants to do is use knockback. But hey, as long as we avoid that crap, it's all good. Oh, we're running. Yep, that worked. Sadly, you couldn't save Bard, though. I am a few seconds away from getting this back. Oh, and yeah, the Samurais decided we're doing so well, why waste the triple limit break? Instilling his full confidence that we will succeed. Gonna warp away again. Comes over here. And again, it's knocked back. Yeah, this cannot be a more different fight against Kefka than my trial run. But like the other three enemies, you'll have uh, noticed just how easy this is. I mean, even after two weeks only of it being around, like, this has not been that much of a challenge at all. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I got killed by the flagrant, flagrant fire rather than the other thing there, and... Oh, will I be even on my feet at the end? Well, maybe. But yeah, the other healer should have been given priority, to be honest. Like, don't worry about me, you gotta kill Kefka! Cause yeah, see I almost died again. Because they were trying to heal me. Alright, where are we standing? Staying on the carpet. Well, of course, time to teleport again. I believe I scored just as he was getting away. There's the laser! Right at the end. Yeah, there's the laser. It's his parting gift to us because we're about to win this fight. And Kefka is slain. I lost! 
Fuck it, I lost! I just can't believe it! Well, believe it. Yeah, take that, Heath Ledger. We have defeated you. And your statue of power goes crumbling down. And with that, the second series of Omega is finished. And look, it's a brand new day cause the sun's out. I definitely say that is worth our reward, whatever it may be, if we get any. I picked up another spring. But I can still play for the wind-up Kefka. Sadly, I did not get it. Doesn't matter cause we're heading on out and taking our victory. And I even got accommodation for my trouble. Oh no, that's okay there, Winter. So upon our success... Thought is, is, that's it, isn't it? She won! This contest has been decided. Alpha Group is victorious. The Sigma Scape test world will now be erased. Come on, we should go and find Corinne. Indeed, we must. Unfortunately. Yeah, remember what hit him earlier? Now he's out like a light. Nero? Yeah, go help him out. Talk to me, man. Are you hurt? You could say that. I had a visitor while you were attending your little ironworks reunion. Yeah, look how purple his face is. Omega. Damn it, we should have never left you alone. Not after what happened to Biggs and Wedge. As if I would trail along behind you like some sniveling lapdog. No, I chose to remain and behold the results. This was my victory. It was my ingenuity that defeated these foes. Even your precious warrior of light. <laughs> was just another variable in my grand experiments. Alright, Nero, save your strength. I'll fetch Quinn and Alpha and then we can get out of here. Garland! The next round is yours. But you can't keep holding back. It's time to unfetter that brilliant mind of yours. To do what must be done. And I'm not just talking about what becomes of Omega. You cannot preach freedom through technology and keep yourself locked up in chains. He grits his teeth. Like, uh, so torn. Meanwhile. Yeah. Hey there, Alpha. Yep. Give me a high five. And Midgard Somia returns as well. Welcome back. Another battle won. Thy might knoweth no bounds, child of man. The Sigma Escape has been terminated. Congratulations, Alpha Group. Congratulations, Corin Loren. Yeah, we just beat another quartet of bad guys from the past that you brought to take us on. 
Consistent with previous performances, you have once more defeated a foe of vastly superior combat capabilities. I have constructed a theory to explain this phenomenon. Go on. In order to conserve life energy, you subconsciously limit your output during standard activity. I have taken this factor into account when calculating your potential, but judging by the wild fluctuation in values, is it possible your limits are exceeded by an unpredictably high degree when engaged in battle? What are the warning sounds? Current data unreliable. Accuracy of further experiments may be compromised. Recalculations necessary. You will exhibit your full potential unrestricted by self-imposed limits. What do you mean by that? Prediction. Placing subject in mortal peril will facilitate the collection of desired data. Like, what is he up to? Well, as we're about to find out, we're trapped. Yeah, he's entombed us, and it hurts badly. Yeah, put us down! You freak! How dare you! Yeah, you can see the pain in her face. Reveal your power. Let me measure the extent of your existence. In precisely 180 seconds, I will terminate your life. You are to attempt to escape with every last reserve of strength you possess. Three minutes? How are we going to get out when we can't even move? Yeah, you know, like, Alpha has a plan. Turning into a frog, for some reason. How's that going to help? Yeah, he just bounces right off. Alpha, your participation is unnecessary. Do not interfere. Well, yeah, he's gonna interfere again and still fail. And ends up turning back into a chocobo. Yeah, he's trying to save our life here. Like, we're going to die in less than three minutes. Curious. Towards seeing the circumstances of thy birth taint not the purity of thy life. The seed which all mortals nurture is found within thee too, Alpha. As for thee, Omega, after the passing of eons, is this truly the extent of thine evolution? I have glimpsed the core of thy wretched existence and judged that my guidance here is no longer needed. So you're just gonna leave us to die? Oh, great. Yeah, as we're here stuck in this crystal and can't get out. But then, Midgard Somir pulls a just kidding. And transforms back into his original form. Like, what are you doing? Even I cannot fully bend the rules which govern this place. I have reached strength, be I've reached beyond my strength at the last. But so be it. Such a death becometh thee not. Yeah, he's actually going to try and save us. By placing the crystal within his jaws and successfully breaking it. We're, yeah, we're free to go. Yeah, Midgard Somir saves our life. Thanks, there, Midgard Somir. To slumber I shall be take me for a time. The incarnation I leave with thee will be mine in full, but not in spirit. Like, oh no. Midgard Somir, 
Again, your actions are incomprehensible. Heed me, empty vessel. Thine all too clumsy effort to draw out that which by thine own omission defieth thine understanding is the very height of folly. Temper thy desire, trust to the results of thine experiments. And when thou hast witnessed these mortals in the fullness of their glory, then mayest thou determine if the prize thou seekest is thine for the taking. So, he's gonna leave us for a while. Acknowledged, attempt to artificially elicit potential has failed. Tend to your injuries, Alpha Group, and prepare for the next round of testing. So Midgard Sawyer saves us, but yeah, Alpha's kind of sad he couldn't save us either. Quinn, Alpha, I need your help. It's Nero, he's... Yeah, well he's trying to help out Nero, we have a sad little chocobo. It would seem we all have a tale to share, but not here. Come on, we're leaving. Yeah, good idea. I don't want to be in tuned again with my life in peril for three minutes. So upon getting outside, let's go ahead and speak with the ironworks hand. Madam, the chief has already departed for Rogar's reach. A few of our people were on hand to help him transport Nero. Oh, and I was told to tell you that Jesse expects a full report as soon as it's convenient. And by that, she generally means now. Yeah, hey there, Alpha. Yep, we'll meet you there. Let's go ahead and make our way back to Rogar's Reach. So we leave the yawn for a while for two more patches. And then in 4.4, .4, we're going to go ahead and deal with Omega's final four challengers. And perhaps including... Omega himself. But we'll see what happens when another two patches go by. But yeah, once we get all this done, we will then bring this stream to a close. Because we uh, have succeeded in our objective of getting all four of the second round of Omega completed. So let's get a move on and get over to Jesse to finish this challenge. Corinne, I was told you made it out of the hole, but nothing beats seeing you with my own two eyes. In case you're wondering, Nero was taken straight to the infirmary. The chief should be back soon with news if you don't mind waiting. Not at all. So as some time passes... Hey there, Sid. Chief, how is he? Not good. It seems one of Omega's nastier minions paid him a visit in our absence. He's putting on a brave face, but having seen his injuries, I'm surprised he kept going for as long as he did. The Convergence confined him to bed. Even should Omega extend its next invitation, Nero won't be coming with us. Yeah, that won't do. Midgard Sumir is taking a lengthy nap now, isn't he? And it won't be long before our base camp is lost to the rift again. When the time comes, I'll join the expedition myself. The challenges will only get harder and you'll need someone reliable at your back. Yeah, this is the time where you're going to prove yourself, Jesse, instead of just being a woman of words. I appreciate the offer, Jesse, and I may yet take you up on it when the time comes. But let's not make any decisions just yet. I have a lot of thinking to do about what's happened and about what lies ahead. Because, yeah, you also have to be back in patch 4.3 for the next 24-man raid. Yeah, poor little Alpha. Poor thing, he seems worried.
Yeah. What would we say? Thank you for trying to save me, or don't worry, we'll get Omega in the end. Well, in this case, gratitude, I think, is more appreciated here. Yeah. Get that little perky small back. Well, that got a small out of him. We may not understand what he says, but I think we can understand how he feels. And so, right, as much as I like to stay in chat, we all have work to do. Sooner or later, we're going to have to face Omega itself, and we've all seen what it's capable of. We need to be stronger, and need to be ready when Omega calls on us again. Let's make sure that we are. Indeed. And so, off goes Sid to do what he needs to do, and we'll take our final reward for completing the Omega set of... Four challenges for the second round of 6,000 gil. Stand strong and do not fight. And so there we go. That's all taken care of and that means we are done here at Rolgar's Reach. And that means we are also done with this evening's stream. And so I'm glad you guys were able to join us for the experience here at Omega 5 through 8. And so, as far as story content is concerned, we are pretty much done now until patch 4.3 comes out later this spring. But of course, there are still special events coming up, such as Little Ladies Day, the game's take on the beginning of spring, as well as Hatching Tide, the game's take on the start of Easter. So, there are still things to look forward to. This has certainly been one of the busiest times um, in Final Fantasy XIV for quite some time. There's been a lot for people to do, and we're definitely taking advantage of it. And I'm glad to be continuing to share the experience with all of you guys as we continue to prepare ourselves for the dangers that lie ahead. Plus, it won't be much longer before we officially hit a significant milestone in the storyline and as far as this game is concerned, because if I've been counting correctly... Um, when we get all this done, we'll have recorded over 460 Let's Play episodes. Which means, by the time the end of Stormblood comes around, we could very well re be reaching the 500th episode of Let's Play content. So, we have certainly done a lot in this game. We've covered a lot of ground, experienced a lot of things, and I'm glad that you guys have been with me. And we'll be definitely looking forward to that. Plus, of course, we also have Hildebrand to look forward to. Because his, his presence has not been introduced yet. But it will be before patch 4.3 is released, as far as I know. So hopefully, by that time, we'll be getting to experience more with... In uh, sorry. We'll be experiencing more with Inspector Hildebrand, too. So, still lots of content here in Stormblood to look forward to, and it could all be done by the time we get to episode number 500 overall for the Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. So, that is going to do it for tonight's edition of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Live, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys with the next new content of Final Fantasy XIV with Little Ladies Day coming out hopefully next month. And tomorrow, we will be getting back to the continuation of Let's Play Skyrim Live. Because yeah, it's time we got back to that too, and I look forward to seeing you guys all then. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and as this guy gets in the way of my shot, until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novara Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.